What's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. This video I'm gonna just show you guys some random pickups that I've gotten recently. Some of these things that I got, they don't fit into like the thrift store and the flea market videos that I do. So I thought why not just do a pickup, like a recent pickup type video. Cause I got some things in the mail, um, I found a couple things that like half price books, stuff like that. So if you guys do like this video and you want to see more like this one, then let me know. Um, I can always do more of these. But without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. Um, it's this stuff right here behind me. I actually have two mail packages to do. This one actually came from another YouTuber. His name is Connor Owns Fast Food. Go check him out. He does like fast food review videos and thrift videos. But I actually seen that he picked these up um, at his flea market. And I told him I was interested in these two because I'm a big fan of um, this developer. So let me go ahead and show you guys what it is. We have two games by Atlas. And if you know, Persona is one of my favorite um, video game franchises and Atlas is actually the person behind it. And so far, every Atlas game that I've played has always been good. Um, I feel like Atlas is kind of like Rockstar where they never put out a bad game. So I actually got these from him too for 20 shipped. The first one is Odin Sphere. This one is complete with the manual and everything. And the second one is Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Uh, this is actually one that I've been wanting to play. This is the like the one I really wanted from him. Um, but then I also saw he got that one, so I asked what he would do for both. And this one too is complete. So I'm happy to add these two to the collection and basically for $10 each. The next package comes from a website called tpublic.com. Um, it's a website where artists upload their designs and you can like get them on a shirt or a coffee mug and you know stuff like that posters anything you want it's kind of like Redbubble but to me T Public's better I feel like their shirts are better quality um, and then every like once a month I think they're actually having one right now they'll have a sale where all the shirts on their side are $14 so that's actually when I got this one and this is actually where I get all my shirts from well not all of them but most of them like for example this one I have on um, but yeah let me show you guys what I got so if you can see behind me up here I'm a big My Hero Academia fan. Uh, my favorite character is Sue, Froppy, whatever you want to call her. Um, I wanted a shirt of her, but I couldn't find one that I liked. So I just went ahead and drew one out myself. And um, I, drew, I drew it out, I sent the picture to my cousin, and he actually did all the coloring and everything. So this is what actually came out. We got the Froppy tee from My Hero Academia. Um, and like I said, I actually drew this out, and then my cousin did the coloring for me. So as of right now, this is like a one of one shirt, which is pretty cool. And I wanted to get this because uh, Dallas Fan Expo is actually coming up. And then after that, uh, Akon is coming up. So I just wanted something else to wear. And like I said, this one was only $14 because I got it when it was on sale. Moving on. We got a copy of Star Fox 64, or Star Fox 64, ugh. Star Fox on SNES. This game I actually used to have, but um... I ended up selling my personal copy and it's been like a year, almost two years maybe since I got rid of it and I've just been looking out for another copy for cheap and I got this one for five bucks. These three games right here, they all three came from Half Price Books. Uh, I was looking through the clearance section and I seen these so I went ahead and grabbed them. TV Robo, uh, this one, I got this one because this is a Walmart exclusive which I thought was kind of cool and this one is complete. I got a copy of Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. This one is disc only. Um, it's a black label disc in a platinum hits box, so it's kind of weird. But this is like a $15 to $20 game, so I went ahead and scooped this one up. And then for $3, I got a copy of Left 4 Dead 2 on the 360. This game still trades in for like $9 at GameStop, and I paid $3 for it, so I went ahead and grabbed that one too. And then this past weekend, I went uh, out of town. I went to Streetport. That's why there was no uh, flea market video, because I wasn't in town. But I did go to a Toys R Us that was over there because I was thinking since they're going out of business that they would have sales or whatever. Because the one next to our house, actually everything's like 50% off right now. But for some reason, none of their stuff was on sale yet, so maybe it just hasn't hit that store yet. But what I did get is this pop right here that I've been wanting for a while. Um, and it's the Shinsuke Nakamura pop. But yeah, he's one of my favorite right now. And, um, and then just finding out Tuesday that Daniel Bryan's coming back, which is another one of my favorites. Um, and the possibility of them two having a match, that's uh, great. And I'm not a big pop collector, but I do get the ones that I like, as, as you can see behind me, the My Hero Academia ones. I got a Vegeta one, and I got a Seth Rollins in his SummerSlam all-white gear. So I wanted to get this one because I am a big fan. And then last but not least, I have a pair of the Air Jordan 1 in the Clover colorway. So these I actually found at a flea market that's only open on Tuesdays, which is kind of weird. Um, and I haven't been to that flea market in a while, so I went this past Tuesday. 
and I actually ended up picking these up for $20. These are my size, but I don't think I'm gonna keep them. Um, for one, I have too many shoes, and I'm just, I'm trying to get rid of some. And two, these are just a little more beat than I would prefer. But I didn't want to leave them for only $20. They are a size 10, as you can see. But um, most likely, I'm gonna be getting rid of these. But I thought I would show you guys while I still have them, because they might be sold pretty soon. Which is why I threw them in this video and I didn't want to wait till this weekend to put them in the flea market video. So that's just some recent stuff that I picked up. I thought I would throw a video together for you guys real fast. If you do, if you like these little like small pickup videos of just random stuff that I buy, uh, let me know. I, I don't mind making more of these if you guys enjoyed it. But with that being said, I'll see you guys later and soon with another video. So later guys.